Hello, this is D and I'm back with another video. Well, yesterday I attended an event at the CNE grounds in Toronto and it was AMD's gaming garage. Now they had a whole array of different devices in there. Of course, they had hundreds of PCs on hand. They even had a couple of Threadripper PCs valued at over $12 thousand dollars this Threadripper build has a Vega GPU in it of course it is liquid cooled and it is just beautiful now of course if you have twelve thousand dollars handy you too can own this PC now in all seriousness it was a great event yesterday everybody treated me well I have to say I'm quite impressed at the employees of AMD they really are for the people and overall I just had a great experience now today I want to talk a little about AMD 7 nanometer process adoption now over at hexis.net and I'll leave a link in the description down below AMD's mark papermaster spoke to one of the IT industry journalists over there. Now Mark went on to say that the 7 nanometer process has been a big challenge for AMD but they decided to go all in and thanks to its partner is now able to bring ahead the launch date of the technology. Now AMD was planning to release the 7 nanometer Vega GPU in 2019 but he says thanks to immense focus we've been able to move the date forward to later this year. The article goes on to say that the next generation Radeon Vega Instinct GPU that was demonstrated at Computex with 32 gigabytes of HBM two will be launched before the year is out now this is incredible news now of course we know that AMD is also going to transition over to 7 nanometer in the near future and we all know that we're going to get a huge performance increase when they drop to 7 nanometers on the CPU Intel is having a hard time with 10 nanometer and to be honest with you the next year is going to be very very painful for Intel because the 7 nanometer Ryzen CPU is just going to be a monster now this changes everything even in the console console landscape. Now we know that Navi is going to be featured in the PlayStation 5. Well, it's highly rumored and of course leaked documents state this as well. Now with the 7 nanometer process of Vega moving up a year, I would also believe that the PlayStation 5 is on track to a 2019 launch. Now I've said it a few times that I think that the PlayStation 5 will be coming out in 2019. Now a lot of analysts also believe this and some others believe that it'll be 2020 and there's some rumors circulating right now that it's been delayed until 2020. But with these advancements in 7 nanometer process for the Vega GPU, I think that Navi will be pushed up. And I think Navi will be a true next generation GPU. I think the next consoles will feature ray tracing and I think Navi will have it in it as well. Of course, you can't think that Nvidia is going to come out with ray tracing and AMD is not going to answer to it. And truth be told, when the consoles have ray tracing as a norm, we're going to see that trickle over to PC, of course, with more games being supported. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about the Vega 7 nanometer GPU being bumped up to later this year. Now this means of course that the consumer card is going to get bumped up and I could say we'll probably see this in early 2019, maybe around February to March. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think so please leave your comments down below and like I usually say, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.